Welcome back to Tex-Mex Chef, and today I have a wonderful kale recipe that everyone's been asking me to make. Everyone that's tried it loves it. I can't take credit for this. This is not my recipe. This is Pat Gray's recipe. So let's get started. It's real easy, real simple. You have, of course, your kale, which I got this one on sale. So this one's good because it has a blend of different kinds of kale. You can use any kind you like, really, but uh, I like this because it has a couple of different kinds. Uh, a little bit of pepper. I like to use this uh, pepper melody here. Um, different kinds of peppercorns in here. You can see you can add that and a little bit of salt and, of course, some olive oil. But Pat used avocado oil, which is fine. You can use that too. So let's get started. It's a really easy recipe. I have your pan here. It's preheated. And uh, just preheat your pan, and you're gonna add some olive oil to your pan and let that heat up. I have this little bottle of olive oil because that's all I have right now. So just uh, let that oil get in there. Cover your pan, coat your pan there. Let that warm up just a little. And you're gonna add your kale. So add your kale in here just like that. Easy to do. And while that's warming up, you're gonna add some pepper. Add a little pepper, or you can pre-ground this a little bit here. I don't want to add too much for me it's to taste, of course. I just like a little bit. That's good. And your salt is next. Add a little bit of salt. I like it. Seasoning your kale is important. So don't forget to add that. And that's about it. You're going to mix this up. Make sure you mix this up nicely and get it all coated and let that heat up and I'll make one more last step last step is uh, you're gonna take your kale over here and because the oil has coated the pan this makes this next step really easy take this to your nearest trash can and there's one that happens to be right here and since the pan is coated it just slides right out into the trash can just like that it's that simple, and I hope this recipe helps you with any kale you may have in your home. 